Well, today I'm going to show you how to build a box, a simple box. Well, a box is a backbone of just about every project that you build, like a kitchen cabinet, a bureau, a dresser, or even a drawer. But today we're going to build those boxes out of some milled down half inch by six poplar. Nice. All right, to get started, why don't you cut some lengths? Let's get to it. All right. All right, Austin, we're going to make three boxes, and three boxes will be the same size. So we're going to stack three boards together, and then you're going to make two cuts at 10 inches and two more cuts at 13 inches. All right, I got you it all cut for you. All right, great. Now I'm going to show you a real simple joint right here, but it's not a real strong joint. Okay. It's actually called a rabbited butt joint. Okay. All right, it starts with a square cut on one piece and an L-shaped cut on the other one, which is called a rabbit cut. There's some glue surface, but I don't think this is strong enough, so we need to add a mechanical fastener. So the first thing we'll need to do is set the height of our dado blade about a 64th of an inch above our material. Then we can eyeball the thickness of the tongue we want to leave on. But to eyeball it, I'm going to take and I'm going to leave the material that I want on this edge against the rip fence. So I take it and I bring it in and I eyeball it just like that. And then I lock it down. Okay, so now when I cut this piece, we're going to stand it up and run it through. Uh -huh. And that tongue will be left on. Now when you're cutting like this, you want to make sure you hold on firmly and go through slowly and don't back up. All right? Using a standard table saw blade to cut our dado, I make one pass around all four sides. Adjust the rip vents and make a second pass on all four sides. Now I cover the joint with glue and assemble the box. We want to work quickly because we don't want it to dry up or skin over. The bottom is just a piece of quarter inch plywood that we've cut to size. And drop that one right down onto the top. To hold everything together, we'll pre-drill holes through the tongues with a countersink bit. And then we'll glue and screw all the joints. That wasn't hard. I don't know if I like the screws really much. All right, well I'll show you another joint that won't require screws. Yeah, let's get to it. Okay, the next one I want to show you is a rabbit and a dado joint. They go together like this. Now, because it's a rabbit and a dado, there's actually a lot more glue surface to glue. So once the glue is set and dried, we won't need a mechanical fastener. Nice. All right, let me show you how to cut this. The first cut I want to make is this dado right here. I'll use a scrap piece of quarter inch plywood to set the height of my dado blade. And by lining up the side to the outside edge of the blade, I can set my rip fence for the location of the dado. Make sure it's right. Lock it in. To make the rabbit cut, we'll keep the blade height the same and adjust the rip fence. We're using a sacrificial piece of wood against the rip fence so I don't damage the rip fence and also so I don't have to adjust the width of the blade when making my cut. For this box, We'll want to get good glue coverage on both the rabbits and the dados. We'll fit three sides, then add the bottom and the four sides, and we'll clamp it tight until the glue dries. All right, Austin, we've already made a couple of joints and they've been pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Pretty simple. Yep. Next thing I want to show you is this joint right here. This is actually called a box joint or a finger joint. Looks complicated. Yeah, well, it can be tricky. Big deal is when you put this together, think about the amount of glue surface that you have. Okay. So if these pieces are fit right and it's glued, it's very, very strong. I see. Now the trick to making it fit right is this jig right here that we're gonna make. And I'll show you how to do it. First of all, I've attached a piece of wood to our crosscut fence. And I'm gonna use another piece of wood that I can just lean up against it. And I'm gonna make a run through the blade so that I'll have a spot. 
to go by. Now do you have to adjust the blade height at all? Or? I adjusted the blade height, the height or the thickness of the wood. Okay. Okay, so now I've made a cut and now the cut tells me the exact width of that blade. Now I already know the width of the blade, so I cut a filler piece the same size. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off a small piece and we're gonna glue it into that slot. Put it in against my guide here, make sure it's down tight. All right, so now the next thing we need to do is we need to get the spacing and the size for the pins. Okay. So to do that, I'm gonna take the piece that's left over, put it against the edge of a tooth, bring my guide up, slide this over, firmly, but not too tight, firmly, put it there, and clamp my guide to the fence. So I'm gonna take the first piece, I'm gonna stand it up and hold it tight against the pin and make a cut. Now I'm gonna take the piece, pick it up, drop it on the pin. Slide it over, make sure I'm down, make sure I'm tight, make a cut. All right, so now I'm gonna cut the opposing fingers. And to do that, I need a pin that will fit in there or a spacer. So I'm just gonna use the side that I've already cut and put it on there. Now I can take my piece and put it against it and I have the exact dimension that I need so when I make my cut, I'll be good. Now I take my spacer piece out, take my second piece and slide it over make my cuts. Pick it up, slide it over. Pick it up, slide it over. Okay, so now is the time to see how they fit. I take the pieces and I put them in there. All right. Pick it up, slide it over, push it down. Okay, remove this. Okay, we're ready to assemble it. First we need to do is glue it up. So why don't you put some glue down the bottom of each slot. I'll spread it around. There's one. It goes in nice and firm. Now let's get the bottom. Yep. Good. Right down. Slide it together. All right, Austin, there you go. One box, three different joints to put them together. Well, thanks for showing me. It was fun. Uh, I really learned a lot. Well, I'm glad you did, and it was fun working with you again. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.